Dear friends, good afternoon. My name is Alec Haitel. I'm branch manager of TD Bank on Coney Island Avenue. And I'd like to introduce my partner today, Lily Gelfin, who you probably, she's well known to the community. She's uh, president of uh, New Tours uh, Travel Agency. Lily, please. Uh, I'd like uh, to thank Be Proud Foundation and thanks for this organization we are here today. Thank you Be Proud Foundation for your great idea because we cannot stand aside of what is Also, President of uh, Zionist Organization. Hey, I appreciate the opportunity of being here. As Alex mentioned, I'm president of the Brooklyn region of the Zionist Organization of America, which is a very strong organization. We're outspoken on these issues. And I want to thank all of you for turning out on such a warm day, hot day, to add your voices and to remember and to continue to remember and to make sure that everybody is aware of what we're up against, what we are as Jews are up against and what Israel is up against. We are part and parcel of the same people of the same peoplehood and that's why it's so important for us to stand here it's been two weeks since the since the uh, young boys have been kidnapped two weeks during that time it's off the front pages it gets buried somewhere but it's not buried for us by being here and by showing up we continue to put pressure on the people that have to be pressured to make sure to make sure that this does not disappear but that we are committed to doing this, that we are showing not only ourselves, but also Israel, that we care and that we are part and parcel of the Jewish people. I know you have many other speakers over here, so I'll keep my remarks uh, short. And again, just want to thank you and urge you. state's government, our government, does not say enough is enough and stop the funding to the terrorists and the PA, then there is something very, very wrong. And we should let them know how we feel. So together we can do it. Never forget, never forget, we are for our boys, we are for Klal Yisrael and for Am Yisrael, and together we can make a difference. It doesn't require a lot, it requires a few, a few who are committed, and that's you people right over here. So, best best, best of luck to all of us in our in endeavor, but by being here, you're maintaining the pressure, you're maintaining the idea, the idea that Klal Yisrael is one peoplehood. And now what happens there happens to us. That those children are our children. Those mothers we feel for. They are mothers. They are Jewish mothers. Jewish mothers and fathers. Not knowing where their kids have been for two weeks now. In the hands of these terrorists. So let us hope and pray that everything works out well. That in the end result they are found. That they're doing what they can to do that. But we're, we have to feel that we're doing our part. Thank you very much. Thank you, Ruben. I give, give me the microphone back to Lila Gelfand to read the letter of, to, from mothers to the United Nations. Grandparents, and we understand this pain. Uh, we it is wrong to take children, innocent boys and girls, and use them as instrumental. It is wrong to take children, innocent boys and girls, and use them as instrumental. This is very important. That was. We, it, it may be two weeks, but we will continue to, to stand together until the three boys, Gilad, Gilad, Naftali, are home in their parents' arms, and they could, and together we will join as a community to stand with other communities around our borough, the state, the city, the state, and the nation in support of Israel, in support of the act identify with everything that has been said from this microphone until now and try not to repeat. I'm standing in front of an audience of individuals who have come here to America from the former Soviet Union. It was Elie Wiesel who wrote a book back in the 1960s entitled The Jews of Silence. You know better than anybody how a peace with their parents, the last words that um, Naftali's mother, Rachel Frankel, said before the United Nations Human Rights Council that was just read was, all we want to do is give our boys a hug. 
and even that is impossible. So standing with you here this evening, you holding these signs that say our voice for our boys is crucial. They don't have a voice, so we have to be their voice. Uh, today I was in Long Island for a gathering like this. There was a gathering. They were kidnapped. There are some people, including United States elected officials, who don't want to use that word. But that's the case. They were kidnapped on their way home from school. And it's our obligation to let people know, not only in the Jewish community, but what we need to do is let people know in the entire United States that these are all our children. These are our children who can be taken at any time by someone, by anyone, by a group of people. Let people know these are all our children. Our voice, our voice for our voice. Our voice for our voice. Yeah, look at these pictures, friends. Look at these pictures that little kids bring to us, to our attention. Дорогие друзья, сидел ни за что не прошло в тюрьме в течение двух лет, когда его обвинили, что он убил украинского мальчика христианского, чтобы использовать его кровь для для мацы. И когда начался суд после двух лет, когда он сидел ни за что не прошло, предъявили ему следующее осуждение. Приводится в Талмуд и следующие слова: "Амар Абишимон Барухай, а ты хуй надан, вы названы и ваших мальчиков". Находится в плену, мы все чувствуем, что часть от нас. И им очень сложно сейчас. Мы, мы, это они нас видят. Мы, мы, мы вместе с ними. Мы вместе с ними, мы их поддерживаем. И мы очень надеемся, что очень-очень скоро, в ближайшее время, их дети будут рядышком с родителями. Я хочу сказать им, если они меня видят, держитесь, не надейтесь. Today, on Thursday, June 26, 2014, with a single purpose in mind, we pray that you might hear us all the way in Washington, D.C. We noticed that you and the First Lady both care deeply about the poor girls who were abducted by extremists in Nigeria because you have done everything in your power to hasten their freedom. Very, very important gathering. This is not just an attack against Israel. This is an attack against every freedom-loving person and nation in this world. Recently, we had hundreds of girls kidnapped in Nigeria. Now, we have three young men going about their lives just randomly kidnapped. Whether you live in London, whether you live in Paris, whether you live now in Berlin, any nation that claims to be a freedom-loving nation should be horrified by what is taking place right now in our world. Now please welcome Chaim Duwage. Thank you, Cecilia. Thank you so much. Uh, first of all, I'm only six months old, so I'm going to use my papers. Uh, as a father and grandfather, I was profoundly disturbed by the reports of the kidnapping when I first found out of Yal Yifrag, Yilat Shari, and Naftali Frankel. An incident like this hits us all too close to home, and I echo the sentiments of parents across the globe in the fervent demand to bring back our boys. The abduction of these teenagers is a painful and stark reminder of the evil that so unfortunately still exists right here in our land and the people of this nation for these parents of our boys. 
I extend to them my own support. And I extend to them my prayers. And that's what I have done. It's not... I just want to tell you that this is actually my first press conference that I went out to. And that the reason is, is because I don't think it's important to come out and to just do a press conference. I think it's important that we all go back and we all pray each and every day that we put pressure on our international communities, on our elected officials, to make sure that the right thing, that Israel gets the support from the United States of America to bring our boys back. And that's what's important. And the reason why I'm here tonight is because this is my community, this is my district, and this is non-political for me. This is about all of us in the 48th Council District getting together, no matter what ethnic background or nationality you're from, this is about boys being kidnapped, and we need this safe return now. Thank you so much. To other teenager students uh, whose mothers are sitting behind me, were kidnapped in their way home from school. Since then, we have heard nothing, no news, no signs of life. With your permission, I'd like to tell you about the boys. My son Naftali is 16. He loves to play guitar and basketball. He is a good student and a good boy, a combination of serious and fun. Aya loves to play sports and cook. Jalad is a, a macho pastry chief and loves movies. My son texted me, said he's on the way.